You guys, I just have to tell you how great these two kids are. Say, I'm great. I'm great. That's right. I was doing a podcast. Oh, you want it? Okay, hold on here then. I was doing a podcast on Zoom, a live Zoom call with Amber Jackson, who has an amazing story and has seriously gone through so much. And uh, the kids' preschool teacher canceled preschool, preschool today. I mean, there's been a massive snowstorm, so I get it. But I was like, ah, that's right when I was going to be doing the podcast. And I know they're going to be just interrupting and needing things. And yeah. Naomi did once. She had to go potty. What? And I want some of those brown things. On oh, the croutons? The you like yeah. the crunchy croutons? I don't have any croutons. Anyway, so I, was like, I told the kids, I was like, okay, this is Miko and Naomi. This is a four and two year old. By the way, she's three tomorrow. It's like, you guys, I need you to not bug me. <laughs> For half an hour. Can you please do that? And they did so well. I had heard them playing together. There was no fighting. There was no crying. Nico is the best big brother and took care of her. They got coats on. They went in the backyard. Now he's being rude. <laughs> you want some chocolate? There, can I get him that? There. Now the fighting starts. You I gotta go. <sighs> you guys. <laughs> It is three o'clock and yeah, turn it off. I haven't even done the breakfast dishes, but look what just came. Oh, <laughs> they were delivered to my sweet neighbor on accident, but and then so she brought them over and she is 83 years old. Yeah, and it's heavy. So I'm feeling so bad. She like got it on her dolly and brought it over. I should go take one of these meals to her just for delivering it to me. But this is beehive meals, baby. Delivered. Okay, Nico, should we see what we got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. I tried something new. These are macro friendly, macro, oh, yeah. macro balanced beehive meals. Oh, yeah. You okay? Hi, Pork carnitas. Hi, Hi, Everybody's getting home. Ooh, pesto mozzarella chicken. I've never had that before. Hold on one second. Sloppy Joes. Guys, yeah, take your shoes off. Chicken and stuffing. Yeah, leave it there, please. We're just getting snow all over the place. Hawaiian teriyaki chicken. That's new. Butter chicken, hello nurse, only five grams of fat. Wow. This one is salsa verde chicken. Balsamic glazed pork roast. Zupa Toscana. And steak fajitas. What'd you say, Nico? Uh, you, you're talking in Spanish. That's right. So just remember, I'm still in that competition. I wanna win. So use code JEWELS. Oh my gosh, we need the whisk. Use code JEWELS to get a discount. Help me win the, the prize. What a day it has been, you guys. It is Thursday evening. I'm here at Tumbling picking up kids. I have to come back again to get Xander in two more hours. Ugh. We got destroyed by snow again today. I'm getting a little worried about my polar plunge. I'm hoping that the lake doesn't freeze over. And then, like, when we jump in the water, watch, like, our legs and backs, like, get ripped to shreds from the ice. And then you have to get stitches. <laughs> that will be horrible. Anyway, um, did a podcast today on an amazing woman who um, was divorced twice by the same man. And then, and then she remarried, like, the love of her life. And he died. He died from a brain tumor, and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, shoot. Anyway. Oh, crap. So I really enjoyed interviewing these women and um, asking them, like, what are their breakthrough moments? How are they doing this? What does it mean for them to have grit? And, and what would you say to someone experiencing something similar? And I've actually been learning from them. Um, so... It's been, it's been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I 
I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but I have found satisfaction through it and um, rejuvenation, I guess, for my soul. So um, you can hear the podcast on the Julie Jepson podcast on Apple, Spotify, or Google, and you can watch the videos um, that are edited beautifully and have music and pictures and um, that's on Julie Jepson uh, YouTube channel. So check those out. This is happening. What's happening? I'm going on the plane. She's not worried about the trip. She's worried about going on the plane yeah. all alone. It's going to be fine. So we are here at the Salt Lake International Airport. She is off to Oakland. You ever been to Oakland? Oh, she's vlogging. <laughs> it's a great learning experience. She'd be on the flight all alone. I'm just pretend I'm not here. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna walk that way. Straight where are you, ahead. Well, where are you gonna go? Southwest. Oh, wait, no. Let's go here first and get my ticket. No, wait. I already have it. I don't. Know. <laughs> Usually, we go here first. Do you have? Look at your phone. Oh yeah, I have my boarding pass already, so I don't need to. So where are you gonna go? So I'm gonna go that way. Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. Where are you going? Southwest. Do you know where Southwest is? Yes. You do? No. <laughs> Okay, well, there was an information guy right there. It's going to save you a lot of trouble and time if you start asking questions. Okay. Okay, let's see. So it says here... Oh, so it changed. Did it just change? Okay, that's good. So, because it was B20 at first, so she's on flight 752, B19, board at 105. Okay, she's off. Off to the gate, Kate. Okay, they'll probably let you go through. That's a fair view. Go ahead. Okay, my order. B19. Check okay. in. Okay. I will. Yeah, B19. So exciting. That girl. <laughs> it's a good learning experience. She's terrified. Okay, I'll be sure to give you updates as she sends them. But I think it's exciting. I got to travel once on a plane all by myself when I was 12. She is terrified. She is deathly afraid of um, flying alone, of just flights in general. This, this, this police dog is not messing around. Holy cow. Anyway, hold on. He is finally doing it. Wait, wait, come here, let me see the before. Look at that, look at that. Hair, turn around. And again. Oh my gosh, finally. Okay, so. I don't love great clips, but he's got a free coupon. So I said, Xander, it's me or them. <laughs> he chose them. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, it's so much better. <laughs> Have mercy. Turn your head around. Oh, finally. I'm so grateful the mullet is gone. I wanted the sideburns, but I knew you didn't like them. No, you can keep you sideburns. Just said that you didn't like sideburns. I just didn't want the side of your hair to be looking like a ragamuffin. Naoma, guess what just came in the mail for you? One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah. What do you think? Can you say thank you? Thank you. So 
somebody sent that to us and I am so grateful because all the other stuff is already worn off. <laughs> and we're, have, we're having otter pops in a snowstorm. You guys have to see what Treyu just drew for me. <laughs> I love it. He drew me. You guys know what that is? <laughs> he drew me a tornado because he knows I love them. There's the car and I'm like, yay! tornado there's the house there's the another car there's a tree another car there's debris from the house cloud and lightning <laughs> i love it Dre. i don't need no flowers <laughs> i need a tornado and let me tell you guys something about this guy right here i don't know how he does it or how he remembers it every single time that i sit down to eat magically there just appears a glass of ice water right in front of me. Uh, <laughs> because he gets me a glass of ice water every single time I eat. Look, at, look, we're an Oreo. You see that? Oh, you're, the, yeah. you're the cookie, I'm the cream, and you're the other cookie. Oh, so anyway, yeah. I've got myself some great boys who draw me tornadoes and bring me ice water. Thanks, guys.